Everybody wants to get those sweet depth of field shots nowadays to use in their videos. You know the shots I'm talking about, right? Oh yeah, cinematic ones where everything, like the, the subject is in focus, but the background is just nicely blurred out. Oh, well, you can get those shots with really nice lenses, really nice expensive lenses. But the problem is we don't all have money to buy this kind of lens. Well, today we're gonna show you a hack that will let you get these shots with just about any camera that you have. Don't much? say anything. When the world's top online marketers are looking to create videos that have real impact, there are two geeks at the top of their Rolodex. Meet Berman and Dean, the video twins. After working for some of the globe's most iconic broadcasters, Berman and Dean have taken the internet by storm and become creative leaders in the world of online sales and marketing videos. And now they're on a mission, a mission to help you make better videos. Scratch that, make that killer videos. Welcome to the Video Twins Video Production Hacks. Hey, I'm Dean Rainey. And I'm Berman Lamb. We are? The Video Twins. All right, now what's the hack we got going on today? Well, the hack we have is a solution to provide greater depth of field while using a commercial everyday camcorder. Right, because everyone wants the depth of field shots, but a lot of times the lenses on these cameras are not so good, so it's a real challenge to get a dynamic shot, right? Now, well, the importance of these shallow depth of field shots is that the subject is crystal clear, but the background is out of focus, so it really allows you to dictate where the viewer's eyes are going and drawing attention to something like that, right? That's right. So one of the solution is really just the placement of the camera your subject and the background. That's all it is. Right, if you have a sweet lens, you can place your camera probably anywhere. You can use a prime lens, whatnot, and you can get that shallow depth. But with these, you can't because if you're wide, you know everything's in focus. So the trick that you wanna do is you wanna frame the shot that you like. If it's, a, if it's an interview subject, you wanna be sort of a medium shot, I guess, your head and shoulders. But then move the camera back as far as you can and then zoom in with your camera lens. To get the same frame. To get the same frame, yep. right. Yep. And that should crush sort of the depth of field there and the background should blur out a little bit and you'll get sort of a, you know, it's a bit of a, a closer shot to that. Definitely, and also make sure that your background's a little further away from your subject as well. Right, we see a lot of people like, with a background like one or two feet behind them, like a bookshelf or a wall or something, there's no depth there so you can't create depth the field really you've got to have some distance between you and the background but you can do it with this little hack you can do it with a consumer camera and it'll help you make your shots pop a little bit more without you know risking losing a very expensive, expensive lens that you know do, some people um, anyways there's more hacks coming that's up that's a uh, cup we'll see you next time <laughs>